After power on, we are going to configure the motor parameters. The functions of the three buttons are next. Enter and menu from left to right. Select control mode, menu, mode, SR, FOC. Select boat rate, menu, UART bow, 38,400. Select slave address, menu, UART R, 01. Open the serial port assistant, UART assist. Select channel, come XX. Set baud rate. 38,400. Select parrot bits, none. Select data bits, eight. Select stop bits, one. Select flow control, none. Select the encoding mode as hex in the receiving options. Tick lock display mode. Select the encoding mode as hex in the sending options. Tick auto a pin bytes. Select checks on algorithm. Check some aid. Click OK. Click Open. Take reading the value of the cumulative multi turn encoder as an example. Send command FA0131 to C. The last byte to see is an additional bit. The serial port assistant automatically calculates and adds. No need to add to see when actually inputting instructions. 00000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 BS7 in the return value is the encoder value. The last 6E is an additional bit. Take setting the current value as an example. Send FA0183096 E7, set the current value to 2400 ma. The last digit E7 is the check digit, no need to input, the serial port assistant will add it automatically. Return to FB0183018 means the setting is completed. In the motor screen, you can also view the current value just set. Click on the menu. NA. It can be seen that the current value has been set to 2400 ma. Next, read the status of the I.O. port. Port status definition as shown in the figure. Send FA0132 for 2F to read port status. 01 in the return value represents high level. The lower for bits correspond to the status of the for ports. 0 means low level, 1 means high level. Limit trigger level, limit direction, and limit speed can be set through home trick. Home Deer and Home Speed in the screen menu, or through Serial Commands Function Code 0x90. In this example, the default parameters are used. Send FA01918C. Return to FB0191080. The motor starts to return to zero, and the screen displays home. To complete zeroing, Set the in, 
one port to low level. It can be realized by connecting the N1 port with the EGND port. After the motor is reset to zero, the screen will display Home OK and return to FB019, 1028F. Control the motor to rotate at a speed of 300 RPM and an acceleration of 2. Send command FA0, 1 F60, 1 to C0 to do 0. The motor starts to rotate. Return command FB01 F601 F3. Send the command FA0. 1 F600 0 0 0 C8B9 to control the motor to stop at an acceleration of 200. Return command FB0 1 F60 1 F3 means stop rotation. Return command FB0 1 F60 to F4 means stop completed. Send commands to control the motor to run in speed mode. Send commands when the motor is running. FA01 FFC a save speed mode parameters. Then the motor will stop running. The return command FB0, 1 FF0, 1 FC means the save is successful. Return command FB0, 1 F60 to F for stop completion. After the speed mode parameters are saved successfully. When the power is turned on again, the motor will run with the save speed mode parameters. Sync command FA01 FSCA C for array speed mode parameters. Then the motor will stop and return the command that stop complete and save successfully. After that, the motor will no longer power on and run automatically. Send command FA0192 8D to set the current coordinates to zero, which is convenient to observe the operation of the motor. After the setting is successful, return to the instruction FB019 to 018F. At this time, the motor screen displays an angle value of 0.0, .0 an error of 0, 0, 0 year R, and a pulse number of 0 COK. Send command FA01 FD806 for 0 to 00 00 00700005BS. Control the motor at a speed of 100 RPM and an acceleration up to to make a circle forward. For 16 subdivision 1.8 degree motor, 3000 to 100 pulses are one circle. Start running FB01 FD01 FA. Complete run FB01 FD0 to FB. Send command FA01 FD806 for 0 to 0, 0, 0 for e to 0, 0, C4. Control the motor with a speed of 100 RPM, an acceleration of 2, and rotate forward 100 times 320,000 pulses. Send command FA01 FD80000 C800 0000040. Control the motor to stop with an acceleration of 200. Start stop FB01 FD01 FA. 
Stop completion, FB01, FD0 to FB. Same command, FA019 to 8D, to set the current coordinates to zero, which is convenient to observe the operation of the motor. Return command FB019 to 018F means the setting is successful. Send command FA01 F for 0, 1 to CC, 8000 to 800066. Control the motor with a speed of 300 pm, an acceleration of 200, and a relative running coordinate of 0x to 8000. That's 10 straight revolutions. Returns instructions for motor running and finish running. Sync command FA0131 to C to read the current coordinate value. Read the current coordinate value, consistent with the predetermined target the error is 1. Enter the command again, FA01 F for 0, 1 to CC, 8000 to 800066. Control the motor again at a speed of 300 pm, an acceleration of 200, and a relative movement of 10 circles. Send command FA0131 to C to read the current coordinate value again. Read the current coordinate value, which is consistent with the predetermined target. Input command FA01 F for 0 1 to CC80 to 8000066. Control the motor at a speed of 300 rpm, an acceleration of 200, and a relative running coordinate of 0x to 800000. That is, turn 1000 times. Send command FA01 F40000000000000000000000 EF. Control the motor to stop immediately. Can receive the corresponding stop information of the motor. Send command. FA019 to 8D to set the current coordinates to zero. Receive the command after the setting is successful, FP019 to 018F. Send command FA01 F50 1 to CC 8000 to 800067. Control the motor to run at a speed of 300 RPM and an acceleration of 200 to coordinate 0x to 8000 absolutely. Send command FA0131 to C to read the current coordinate value. It can be observed that the motor has run to the predetermined coordinate value. Send the command to control the absolute coordinate operation of the motor just now again. Found that the motor won't turn because the motor is already at 0x to 8000 at this time. Modify the command as FA01 F50 1 to CC 800 0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, the motor will run to zero coordinates.
Send the command again, FA0131 to C to read the current coordinate value. It can be seen that the motor has returned to the zero coordinate. That's the end of this example video. Thanks for watching.